His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today performed the Isa prayer at Sakir Palace Mosque, along with his sons, members of the royal family and scholars, on the eve of the anniversary of the Prophet's birthday. Peace be upon him. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين His Majesty the King and the attendees heard the sermon which was delivered by Sunni Endowments Council Chairman Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri. He spoke about the blessed life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the anniversary of his birthday. Dr. Al Hajri prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and guide him on the path of success and bless the Kingdom of Bahrain with security and stability under his wise leadership. الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين المعظم حفظكم الله ورعاكم الحضور الكريم the attendees extend the deepest and sincere condolences to His Majesty the King and the martyrs following the treacherous criminal act to which the duty force of the Bahrain Defence Force were subjected, while performing their national duty within the Arab coalition forces, participating within the Operation the Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope, stationed on the southern border of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls in eternal peace. They also extend to His Majesty congratulations and blessings on the anniversary of the Prophet's birthday, wishing many happy returns and continued health and happiness to His Majesty the King and to the Kingdom and its loyal people with more progress. His Majesty the King congratulated them on the occasion, wishing the people of Bahrain, all Muslim countries and the Arab and Islamic nations more security and peace. His Majesty extended congratulations to them saying that the anniversary of the birth of the Prophet is a great opportunity to renew connection and relationship with the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family and companions. His Majesty emphasised that the sublime Islamic values are evident on this occasion as Muslims remember the biography of the Prophet whose tolerant teachings they imitate in all their situations and dealings and through which they consolidate the values of brotherhood, coexistence, tolerance, love and peace with everyone. His Majesty also affirmed that Bahrain was and will remain an incubator for pluralism 
and a centre for cultural convergence and religious and human coexistence, as has given this good land the coexistence, brotherhood and affection that have characterised the people of Bahrain throughout history and their adherence to human values, based on respect for all peoples and religions and stemming from the essence of a tolerant Islamic law. His Majesty prayed to Allah to preserve Bahrain and perpetuates its people's dignity, love and solidarity and bestow rest mercy on Bahrain's martyrs. فقال سبحانه وتعالى لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم أغر عليه للنبوة خاتم من الله مشهود يلوح ويشهد وضم الإله اسم النبي إلى اسمه إذا قال في, المخم في الخمس المؤذن أشهد وشق له من اسمه ليجله فذو العرش محمود وهذا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم حليم رحيم لين متواضع سخي حيي عابد متزهد نعم فقد كان صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمة للعالمين كما قال تعالى وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين ولقد أخبر نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم عن نفسه حينما قال يا أيها الناس إنما أنا رحمة مهدا والرحمة في شريعتنا أساس عظيم وخلق كريم فقد قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من لا يرحم لا يرحم والقارئ في سيرته صلى الله عليه وسلم يجد أنه كان يتعامل مع من حوله بمقتضى هذه الرحمة فقد قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إني لم أبعث لعانا وإنما بعثت رحمة فقد كان صلى الله عليه وسلم رحيما مع الصغار والكبار إلى حد قال فيه من لم يرحم صغيرنا ويعرف حق كبيرنا فليس منا ولقد امتد منهج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في رحمته إلى الدرجة التي رحم فيها حتى العصاة وأهل الذنوب فقد أتي يوما برجل قد أسرف على نفسه بالمعاصي والذنوب فلما أقام عليه الحد قال بعض من حضر أخزاك الله فنهره النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ثم قال لا تقولوا هكذا لا تعينوا عليه الشيطان ولكن قولوا اللهم ارحمه اللهم اغفر له بل حتى مع المخالف في المعتقد والمخالف في الدين تتجلى رحمته صلى الله عليه وسلم فقد قال من قتل نفسا معاهدا لم يرح رائحة الجنة وإن ريحها لا يوجد من مسيرة أربعين عاما وحذر من ظلم الكافر فقال عليه الصلاة والسلام اتقوا دعوة المظلوم وإن كان كافرا فإنه ليس دونها حجاب ختاما إن هدي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رحمة دعوته رحمة سيرته في أهله رحمة وجميع أوامره ونواهيه رحمة وصدق الله القائل وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين اللهم صلِّ وسلِّم وبارِك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا لا يرتد ونعيما لا ينفد ومرافقة نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في أعلى جنان الخلد اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه اللهم بارك له في عمره وصحته وعافيته وأنجاله وأهل بيته اللهم وفقه وولي عهده الأمين 
وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم يا ربنا احفظ جيشنا ورجال أمننا وحرسنا المرابطين على جميع الثغور اللهم كلهم معينا ونصيرا ومؤيدا وظهيرا اللهم وتقبل من مات منهم عندك شهيدا داوي جريحهم وشافي مريضهم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نسألك لنا ولهم الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولوالد والدينا واجمعنا بهم في أعلى جنان الخلد برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين والحمد لله رب العالمين Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hazri, presented to His Majesty the King a book he wrote entitled Mosques of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which were built during the prosperous era of His Majesty. His Majesty the King praised this valuable publication, noting the efforts of Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hazri in preparing his book and his noble and kind efforts in serving and caring for the affairs of the houses of God and places of worship. It is worth noting that this book deals with the mosques and the mosques of Bahrain that were built during the reign of His Majesty and which constitute cultural beacons. It is a civilised and reflects the bright image of the Kingdom of Bahrain and that the Kingdom pays great care and special attention to building and developing mosques and mosques to carry out its great lofty mission. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, marking the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, a peace be upon him's birthday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King, noting that this auspicious occasion is an opportunity to express pride in the Prophet's life and the Islamic values of moderation which have been established as the Kingdom's firm approach, thanks to the Royal Visions. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, affirmed that the Kingdom will carry the spreading of the noble Islamic values and principles called for by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by promoting coexistence, tolerance, mutual respect and human fraternity, which has made Bahrain a beacon of peace and coexistence. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister pray to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health, happiness and long life, wishing Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He also expressed hope that peace would prevail over all the world. His Majesty King Hamid sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Majesty the King expressed the deepest thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wishing His Royal Highness abundant health and wellness. His Majesty the King also wished the Kingdom, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his birthday anniversary. His Majesty the King wished them abundant health and happiness and more growth and prosperity to the countries and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received a cable of congratulations from Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, SCIA President, on the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's birthday. Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed said that the occasion provides an opportunity to renew commitment to the noble values and lofty principles consolidated by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The SCIA wished His Majesty the King, the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister offered sincere condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King over the loss of an officer and a soldier, as well as the injury of several servicemen from the BDF task force, while performing their national duties in defence of the southern borders of Saudi Arabia within the Operation A Decisive Storm and the Operation Restoring Hope, carried out by the Arab Coalition. His Royal Highness also wished the wounded a speedy recovery. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman discussed the fraternal relations between the two countries and ways to further strengthen them within the framework of the strong ties binding them. They also affirmed determination to carry on strengthening the existing bilateral cooperation across various fields to meet the two peoples' aspirations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences and sympathy from the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, regarding the martyrdom of a number of brave BDF members on the southern border of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition Force participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. His Highness expressed his deepest condolences and sincere sympathies to His Majesty the King on the martyrdom of an officer and a non-commissioned officer and the wounding of a number of brave men who sacrificed their lives in fulfilment of the sacred duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace, wishing the speedy recovery to the injured. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa expressed deep sorrow over the martyrdom of a number of BDF members participating in the national duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition Force, participating in operations at a decisive storm and restoring hope as a result of the treacherous act. They sacrificed their lives for the homeland while carrying out their national duty in order to support the issues of the Arab nation. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences from His Majesty's personal representative, the President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad expressed deep sorrow over the martyrdom of a number of BDF members participating in the national duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition forces participating in operations decisive storm and restoring hope as a result of the treacherous act. They sacrificed their lives for the homeland while carrying out the national duty in order to support the issues of the Arab nation. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace, wishing the injured a speedy recovery.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law 12 of 2023, amending Article 4 of Law 38 of 2009, establishing the National Health Regulatory Authority, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 13 of 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of 1977 regarding the issuance of development bonds, based on the proposal of the Minister of Finance and National Economy and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty issued Decree Law 14 of 2023, amending some provisions of Law 16 of 2014 regarding the protection of state information and documents, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 15 of 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 32 of 2020 regarding the rules of registration, a safety and control of small vessels, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty issued Decree Law 16 of 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of 1986 regarding the regulation of tourism, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 17 of 2023, amending some provisions of Law 33 of 2006 regarding sanitation and surface water drainage, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty issued Decree Law 18 of 2023, amending some provisions of the Telecommunications Law, issued by Decree Law 48 of 2002, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 19 of 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 42 of 1999, establishing the Bahrain Petroleum Company, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King issued Decree Law 20 of 2023, adding a new clause at number 7 to paragraph C of Article 8 of Decree Law 78 of 2006 regarding unemployment insurance, based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of congratulations with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's birthday anniversary. His Royal Highness wished them abundant health and happiness and more growth and prosperity to their countries and peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the two fallen BDF servicemen who were honourably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition Force at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed pray to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless the families with solace, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa for the two fallen BDF servicemen who were honourably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Ali noted the sacrifices of the fallen servicemen who will always be remembered and wish the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from His Majesty the King's personal representative and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad expressed deep sorrow over the martyrdom of a number of BDF members participating in the national duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition forces participating in Operations Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope as a result of the Treacherous Act.
The Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, it deeply mourns the tragic loss of the fallen serviceman, a first warrant officer, Adam Salam Nasib, who valiantly gave his life in line of duty. On Wednesday, September the 27th, 2023, Nasib passed away, affected by serious injuries as a result of the act of aggression conducted by the Houthi forces, which took place on Monday during his dedicated service in the Arab Coalition forces as part of Operation Decisive Storm, an operation restoring hope along the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The BDF extended deepest condolences to the family of the fallen servicemen and pray to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and for the injured a speedy recovery. This heinous terrorist act, which resulted in claiming the lives of an officer and a soldier from the Kingdom of Bahrain and wounding many others, did not respect a human obligation or recognize international covenant that was based on a ceasefire. Whoever committed this heinous crime has violated the international truce that was in force. The Arab coalition forces adhered to it in order to achieve the security and peace of the region in general, and Yemen in particular. The nature of this treacherous act claimed innocent souls who were martyred for the sake of peace and stability of the region. The Houthi militias claim that they had no hand in this heinous betrayal, but they are in the position of the first accusation, unless proven otherwise, and unless those who committed this attack are brought to justice. Denial does not save anyone from their crime unless they provide conclusive evidence. Great sacrifices, pure souls and continuous efforts have been made by the Bahrain Defense Force alongside their brothers from the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen and to preserve the security of the region and the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The honorable martyrs were honored with great valor and courage. Their blood will not be in vain and their rights will not be lost in the face of justice so that they remain a symbol of generosity, honor and pride. The official spokesman of the Coalition to Restore Legitimacy in Yemen, Brigadier General Turkey Amalki, announced the death of an officer and a soldier and the injury of other servicemen of the BDF task force participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope, who were stationed along defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia. Al-Malki said in a statement mourning the fallen servicemen that the Coalition offered its condolences to their families and wish the injured a speedy recovery. He added that the coalition concerned this act of terror carried out by the Houthi forces in a treacherous hostile act that followed other hostilities during the past month. He said such acts come in defiance of the positive efforts led to the end of the crisis and reach a comprehensive political solution. The UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Grunberg, condemned the attack that claimed the lives of two soldiers from Bahrain and injured several others in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He offered his condolences to the Kingdom of Bahrain and his wishes for the speedy recovery of the injured. He also expressed concern over continued military tensions at the Yemeni border and on several front lines in Yemen over the past months that led to casualties, including a civilian loss of life. Grinberg warned that the minimum level of trust required for constructive dialogue is hard earned but lost and emphasised the need for decisive steps towards a sustainable and nationwide ceasefire. Russia condemned the attack on Bahraini military forces stationed on the Saudi southern borders as part of the Arab coalition forces, killing two servicemen and injuring others. A Russian foreign ministry statement said Moscow opposed any use of force that leads to casualties, a destruction of socio-economic infrastructure and undermines peacekeeping efforts. The statement urged all parties to show restraint and refrain from steps that could lead to escalation of tension in the Yemeni conflict zone. The statement also emphasised the importance of continuing direct Saudi Houthi contacts designed to lay a solid foundation for overcoming the crisis. His Majesty the King's Special Representative, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, conveyed the condolences of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Emir of Kuwait, 
His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, and to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, following the demise of Sheikh Mubarak Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak also offered condolences to His Highness Sheikh Nasser Al Mohammed Al Ahmed Al Suba, Sheikh Jaba Al Abdullah Al Jaba Al Suba, the deceased brother and head of the Kuwaiti Crown Prince's court. Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Suba, the deceased son of Sheikh Jabba Mubarak Abdullah Al Ahmed, and the, all members of the Al Suba family. This came as His Highness Sheikh Mubarak bin Mubarak paid a visit to Kuwait along with the advisor to His Majesty the King for diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Khalifa bin Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Salman al Masalam, said that the anniversary of the Prophet's birth is an occasion through which Muslim members of the prophetic biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and through which they consolidate the values of brotherhood, coexistence, and peace with everyone. On this occasion, al Masalam wished His Majesty the King abundant health and well being. Also, here is His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister calling on God Almighty to return this occasion to His Highness with goodness, prosperity and happiness and to preserve the Kingdom of Bahrain and all Muslim countries and to return these noble occasions to us and to the Arab and Islamic nations with abundance of goodness, prosperity and blessings. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh has extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his birthday. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and long life so as to continue leading the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. The Shura Council Chairman also extended deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the same occasion. He wished His Royal Highness good health and wellness so as to continue bringing about more progress to the Kingdom under His Majesty the King's leadership. The Prophet Muhammad's birthday, a peace be upon him, is commemorated this year across the Muslim world today. It's regarded as a pivotal event that commemorates the life and legacy of the most important figure in Islamic faith. In Islam, a Prophet Muhammad was the last Prophet and final Messenger of Allah. He was born on 12th Rabi'al Awal, of the third month of the Muslim calendar. The Hijri year is lunar, with months beginning with the first crescent of the new moon is sighted. <laughs> 